Color quantization is where you take all the colors present in an image and map them to a more limited palette. This is often done for compressing images to smaller file sizes, though it can also be used to give an image a unique art style. The process is quite simple. For each pixel in an image, change its color to one present in a given palette that's most similar. That's it. Well, almost. You also need to decide which colors to use in your palette, and how to calculate similarity. I've settled on an algorithm that's very easy to implement, though I'm not certain it's the most efficient. That's fine though, because I only need it to work well enough on single images. Essentially, record the red, green, and blue values of the first pixel, and do the same for the first color in the palette. Find the distance by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the difference of each color type. Save that color. Compare the distance to the next color in the palette, and only if it's lower than the previous, save that color. Repeat until all colors are iterated through. Change the pixel's color to that of the nearest in the palette, and then move on to the next pixel until all the pixels are changed. I think the least efficient aspect of this approach is how every color must be iterated through for each pixel. If there was a way to sort the palette beforehand by difference, it would be much quicker to find the closest color. But since the differences change for each color, I'm not sure what the best way to do that would be. As for choosing the palette, there's many ways to do this. You can choose individual colors with specific color values, a set of equally spaced colors, just picking randomly, or really any other method. I've noticed in palettes with fewer colors, the contrast of the image seems to increase a lot, where more complex details are apparent. Otherwise, with that said, I'll leave you to this slideshow of a few palettes I've tried while testing ideas.